Hey guys, it's all bliss and I just thought I'd make a little video to explain what's been going on with my channel and well, the content I've been putting out or trying to. <laughs> so, yeah, it's summer vacation right now. I should be focusing more on making my videos, but uh, so many different things are happening and I'll tell you about that today. What you're seeing right now is um, I'm racing a Tesla P90D on Nurburgring. I hope it goes well. So anyways, some life stuff that I've been going through. Um, I have a project that I have to get out of the way for my compressor. And they're kind of hanging over my head a little bit. We're just kind of doing this on the side to, you know, make up for something that happened last semester, which didn't go all too well. I made it through with good grades, but something just didn't fly between the professor and I. So we're just working together to try to get our portfolio. That's the um, that's kind of the first smaller thing that's that I've been kind of worried about. The other is uh, <laughs> I'm just lazy. I don't really try to make videos all that often, so it's like I have to. I have to really push myself to get out of bed and record something and edit something. And that can be hard when I only get like two hours a day to play games and use my machinery. I mean, I'm 20, I still live with my parents, sue me. But, um. Oh, and kind of the bit thing that's been going on, which is kind of the meat of this video, is. I'm supposed to be getting a new card very, very soon, which is something I am very, very excited about. So, I am trying to get myself into a brand new 2016, whatever it is. I haven't decided yet. There's four major contenders that I've been looking at. So, this started about two months ago, and I was at work. I was at work one day, and I was just kind of going to... I'm a parking lot attendant at a big grocery store, so I was walking around and I saw in one of the handicaps boss a um, a orange Chevrolet, Chevrolet tracks and I was like, that looks really nice. I could see myself in one of them. So when I went on my break, I went to my dad. Hey, um, could it be possible to get into a tracks? I think that would be a good car for me. And we just started looking at all the the um, the specs of the car, the safety, the mileage, and, was, and then we started throwing around the idea of actually getting me into something new, like brand new, because right now I drive 2005 Chevy and it's starting to get on in age, like I'm starting to get rust spots on the sides of the car, um, we've had some problems with uh, some questionable stuff regarding the inspection, but no worries, that's been sorted out. <laughs> But, um, the most pressing thing right now is I, I have to make the finance work, and the, the other part is I had to lose, like, 20 pounds between the time they started that and the time I finished. So, as of the time that I am making this video, like, recording it live, um, I am at 238 pounds, and my goal weight is 235 pounds, so... I will be making another video this Sunday to see if I actually met my goal or not. But that's a different that's a different thing for another day. In the most literal sense possible. Anyways, I have been working very, very hard on my on my automotive homework, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put pictures of these up later in the video or rather what I do is in editing. But right now I am looking at the Mazda 3 iSport in automatic, um, the Elantra GT, the Honda Fit EX, and I keep thinking the Scion IM. So in this past week, I've already test driven three different cars. One of them's off the table. It was, um, I tested over Corolla and one of the other stuff, so it was like that one didn't go so well. But I have driven the IM, and I have driven. I have um, tried to drive the Elantra, but they sold out. The only one they have is on the showroom floor, so can't really go back and test drive something else on the showroom floor. So I just have to take my faith in my memory because I've already test driven it. But um, 
Yeah, the IM, I like that car, is the chassis was really well sorted, it drove really well, the only problem I have with it was, I want to say this, there's no road feedback in the steering, it was entirely power steering like you would get on one of these uh, driving wheels. And that's kind of what put me off of it at first, because they were driving in normal mode, and that's like you can just use a finger to turn the wheel around. That said, we went back, we tried the IM again, we um, test drove it, we test drove it under um, a different sport, like a sport mode on the car, and I gotta say, I love that. The other thing is, I was averaging like 40 miles to the gallon in sport mode. <laughs> But that said, I actually kind of like that car. It just doesn't have a lot of power. Gas quality is good. The ride quality is good. The room in the front and in the back is really good. And it has these bolster seats that are really nice. So I could drive it like an idiot if I want to. Which I'm not going to. I also, this week, um, drove a Corolla S. Which I kind of hated. It drove like the I am, but it was a lot. It felt kind of plastic. Like, the whole thing was rattling around like it was made of plastic. And this was a Corolla S, so I don't know about that one. That's off the table. Um, the other ones that I have driven before that I need to go back and try again are the Mazda 3 and the Honda Fit. The last time I drove the Fit, I was genuinely impressed by the amount of technology that they had in it. They had a, um, a camera on the right side of the car on the mirror where if you turn on your indicator it brings it up on this on the screen in the center console that shows you what's going on in your blind spot and you can override it with the indicator star so there's a button on the indicator where you press it down you can see what's behind you it's an excellent 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 thing for um situational awareness and i have to say i love that i like being able to see what the hell is going on i mean especially since you know Massachusetts drivers have a reputation around here kind of being awful. <laughs> I'm not going to touch them, touch them that too much. But, you know, it's nice to be able to see if someone start trying to ride up your butt a little bit so you can kind of get out of the way. Or if you have police coming, like, like I'm deaf, uh, uh, I'm getting a little barrier warning. I'm going to make this quick. So, the fit. Power steering like the Toyota, but it has an interesting dual mode where if you have, um, if you're in a parking lot and you're trying to um, drive around the parking lot, the power stand is intentionally super light so that you can actually navigate the lot. But when you're out driving, say above 15, 20 miles an hour, it becomes super heavy. Like there's a lot of resistance to the steering, which gives you a lot better finesse in the car. Which, while it's still power stand, I like that. And the Mazda 3 from memory was kind of the one I was the most uncomfortable in. Even though I liked the car, it was great. I just felt kind of uncomfortable in it. But everything about it was really good. It was like... My computer's freaking out about its battery. Um, so anyways, the Mazda. I was uncomfortable in it, but solid drive, the suspension was on point, I mean, it handled everything perfectly. You could feel every single bump in the road, but it wasn't like jostling you around. Um, I, like, I keep saying this, but the steering was super, super tight. It was very, very athletic for a hatchback of its size. The only issue I had was rather the only issue that I could see was a rear leg room, which is something I'm actually trying to look at because I was going to start using a new car to haul people around because I try to play airsoft as much as I can, but I've only ever actually gone to two games, so yeah, I'm trying. And well, you know, it's just car buying is a hard process. Even harder when you're on a trying to get on a lease and you're trying to get the best deal possible because, you know, they're trying to push me into like 250 a month and I can't go over 200 a month, stuff like that. And I'm not going to get any money from my car because it's 11 years old and it's a piece of crap. But yeah, that's kind of um, 
what's going on with my life right now, so I apologize about the lack of videos. I am, however, working on a Gran Turismo video right now. I opened up a um, alternate profile on my PlayStation and I'm playing through the career again. So I'm going to be putting together a video for that before I start, you know, trying to upgrade all my equipment and stuff for Gran Turismo Sport. So, thank you for watching and for listening to me being annoying for about the 11 minutes. So, until next time, keep driving.